recorded. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this regular meeting of the Vader City Council. It is April 10th, 2024, and the time is 6.09 p.m. Roll call. Here. 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 Randy Randy did have another engagement. He has to be excused tonight. Matt Carson. Here. Michael Curtis. Present. Excellent. Quorum. Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Furt. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome. Uh, Mayor's report, the water system. So I um, had a meeting with Commissioner Brummer a week, two weeks ago. Um, and uh, since that meeting, they've, the county has decided to move forward with the uh, water line replacement project using the county um, ARPA funds. Um, if you remember, the, uh, in our ex extended agreement, extension agreement with the county, um, the city was going to be on the on the hook for um, certain costs um, related to maintenance of the water or upgrades to the water system. Since this money is not coming from the county general funds, um, it's coming from some other source. Uh, we don't believe that it will be part of that uh, repayment requirement. So that's good for that's good for us in the long run. Yeah. So, um, so that's good. They're uh, picking. They're uh, going out to uh, doing contractor selection um, for that project imminently. So, um, Mr. Brummer wanted me to relay his statement, which is the county is committed to having safe and reliable water for the citizens of Vader, and we look forward to seeing this work completed. So, uh, thank you, Mr. Brummer, for uh, being our advocate on the county commission. I knew those jujitsu classes you took were going to help. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks, Judy. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for the information. That's Thank awesome. you, Mr. Brummer. Um, the Murphy Park, the Park Sports, still working on the new RCO grant application. Um, uh, the application will have in uh, utilities for the park in that. Uh, Hendrickson subdivision. So the modified design with fewer lots, less and less variances. They've uh, started having. Um, communication with our planner about that um, and um, yeah they've cut it down by one or two lots um, they're not um, they're not going to require ask the city to vacate as much property um, so there's going to be less variances so they're, they're making it a much simpler project um, and um, a lot of those concerns were what uh, probably what the planning committee had uh, echoed so um, that's all good news there. Uh, Kessel Court subdivision. So all the doc documents have been received from the uh, from the uh, developer, um, the city staff, the planners and engineers are working on the staff report. Uh, planning committee and council will uh, get to review those. Um, they'll still need to be uh, public hearings, notifications, and things like that. So um, we're we're still a ways away from shovels in the ground, but um, they're they're working on it. And then uh, the former Martin Meadows subdivision, that's the uh, property that was logged off at the top of uh, 506 as you enter in town. Um, the new uh, property owner is uh, expecting to have some plans, initial plans to the city uh, very soon within the next couple of weeks. Um, that would be eight homes. Um, there'll be two homes on either side with a private drive down the middle. Um, and it would be connected to city sewer as well. Um, there'll have to be a, a pressurized line running from from there down to 9th Street, um, but it's all in city right of ways, so there shouldn't be any property acquisition issues with that. So um, that's coming as well. Uh, Alpine Court Lift Station. Um, so we are working on a letter to the uh, property owners, two property owners in that area. line from Alpine Court to Park Street. There are two routes. One would be on the city right-of-way, unused right-of-way in that area. Unfortunately, the city right-of-way has a pretty big gully in it, and so the estimate is about $100,000 more to construct it on the city right-of-way. Um, there are two property owners back there that we could um, potentially get a, a utility easement across their property and uh, save the city some money. 
um, by running it through there instead. And so uh, we need to send out some letters of interest and see if the property owners are even interested in, uh, in, the, in that prospect. Um, obviously there would be some compensation involved um, on their part, there'd be an appraisal and things like that. So, um, but if they're not interested at all, they don't have to. Um, and then we would be forced to use the other, uh, the city right of way. So still working on that. Um, just uh, of note, one of the property owners happens to be Mike Parsons. And so any decisions um, that would come from that, he would be doing. Just uh, being, being open on that. Um, that's the, so that's the service from Alpine, the end of Alpine Court down yeah, to the treatment? Yeah, so, so there were three options that were explored. Um, we need to get, sorry, no, we need to get a current map up on the wall in here. Okay. Like a topographical that. one that you have in the office in there? Or a big one with awesome. the set. View. Okay. It'd be red, so then we can go up and we can all kind of look at what we're talking about. How many eight and a half, eight and a half by 11 feet would that be? <laughs> oh, we'll work on that. Um, 27. 27. <laughs> 27 sheets. Yeah, nine by nine. Right? <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, so there are three, there are three options to, uh, to fix the Alpine support li lift station that were explored. One is to rebuild the lift station. Um, put in diesel generators for, for, back, for backup. Um, new tanks, new pumps, electrical, all that stuff. Um, so that was one option. Obviously, that's that's a lot more, uh, a lot, uh, a lot of money as well. And then there's ongoing, ongoing maintenance with having diesel generators back there and buying diesel and things like that. So, so there, and the other two options were gravity line um, from from the lift station through back down to Park Street. Um, and then of those two options, there were two routes: the city right of way that has the big goalie in it, and then private property. Um, Private property would be less, even with acquisition um, easement costs. Right. So, um, yeah, you know, need to figure out if those are even possible, though. Um, number seven, Mayday and Warden Park Grand Opening. Um, there's going to be a parade, the live band, um, games, and more. It's all on May 4th. Um, so the parade. One o'clock, um, and so there'll be even more fest festivities. So, um, also update on the current 2024 inspection fees. Is, was that in the packet? Yes. They have that. Okay. So, and I, the reason why I want to talk about this real quick. Um, so obviously, the city has gone a, a different route uh, with instead of um, hiring someone with. Um, clerical experience, um, who we hired to fill up our planning, building a planning position, had a uh, kind of a construction background and things like that. So, and that's that's Darren Hutton sitting right here. Uh, in just a short amount of time that Darren's been here, um, he has the experience and qualifications to do a variety of inspections. And so he has been doing these inspections and he has been saving the city quite a bit of money in thousands of dollars worth of, worth of inspections that we had to pay out previously inspections and plan review. Um, things that we've had to pay out previously that now we're keeping internally, we're keeping all these fees. Um, so a couple takeaways. One, that's, that was a really good decision on the city's part to go that route. Um, it's paid dividends already. Um, two, thank you to Darren for being our city employee and, and, and going out of his way to find ways to uh, find uh, money. And uh, three, this is going to kind of segue into the height of a city business. Um, regarding the permitting software. Um, just so the idea was that you guys could see that you know, we've already saved 32,000. Some of those are, are the uh, sewer main hookup fees. And so like $4,500 connection fees and things like that. Um, and then but a lot of that other, other stuff is, is the savings. And so, you know, we've saved or made, I guess another way to put it, you know, tens of thousands of dollars already. So. Um, keep that in mind when we talk about item number one of city business. All right, um, council reports. Anything from council to report? Has, have we heard anything about the gate break sign on 506? 
No, we haven't uh, taken care of that yet. I was just thinking about that last night, though. So okay. I'll add it to my priority list. Hey, Joe, one thing that um, I talked with uh, Mike Ferguson about last week since he Tenth Street situation with uh, it being wide enough for one car to pass is to turn that into like a one way and go go around the loop in a direction that Political would suicide one way. Yeah, I, I know. I it was just a suggestion. I don't even I don't live on the street, but I, I drive on it once in a while and I have to drive into either Randy's yard or on the ditch to go you know through there or just uh, a lot of it is on that same note. Pinched. Now that the water thing is getting done, that's one of the main things that they're going to be replacing. So maybe when they're doing that, we can widen it. Yeah. We need to look at, like, you know, asking citizens to remove some of the trees that they have that are on the city easement and, and stuff like that. I don't think those are good. Yeah, there's all the money down the side. Yeah. Yeah, those are all planted on the um, Last year, when the engineering Mike firm Pence. was out here um, with the county doing all that uh, planning work, I had a had a, a walk through with um, the county um, public works lead, and one of the things we talked about was maybe the city, when their when their contractor comes through and cuts up tenth. The city maybe could throw a little bit of money our, their way, maybe from our STP fund at the county reserve to repay that, you know, make it. And so now that the project is back on on uh, on the books, I'll have to remind them of that so that we can keep that keep that in mind, and then we could widen it. As part of that, because if there's going to be a, a company out here already putting pavement down, you know, that's that's half the cost usually is just mobilization and getting people out here. So Can that's a good reminder, though. Those trees that Mike's talking about, there's a bunch of big ones there. I wonder if we could get a load out of those and make some money with it. Ones that are all in the street on the north side of on the yeah, because yeah. those are all look like good. Good trees. Yeah, I think, they, I think they, with good intent, I just put those in there. And they're, they're all looking city right away. Aren't they like really, really old though? Like older than in the in the in the sheep area. Not no, in the sheep area. Those would be nice. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I think that fence is the line. I, I think there's like a, they alternate. There's like a maple on and a fir and maple. Mm -hmm. Something along those lines. I try not to look in my neighbor's yards unless it's just to make sure that they have enough. You know, honestly. <laughs> but I do know that road's too narrow. Yeah. Okay. And with kids, like you know, a lot of streets are a little too narrow. Um, okay. All right. And I know there's going to be some some. Um, Stuff going on to park, you know, with this other subdivision going in park. Mm -hmm. right? uh, it's between D and E at the intersection of E and Park, yeah. E, yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, and they're talking. The latest designs had our suggestion in there at the end of at the end of E, turning onto Park. Um, the latest design show a cul-de-sac down there, mm -hmm. and so you'd be able to go down, go down E, and then come back up without without having to stop. So um, agenda approval. I do not have any modifications. Unless anyone else does. I'll make a motion that we approve the city meeting agenda for April the 10th, 2024. Uh, motion by Mr. Parsons to approve the agenda for April 10th. Do you have a second? Uh, Mr. Parsons will second it. Mr. Daly. Yes. Mr. Parsons seconds. I just said that without even, without even leaking. No, you did. Well, it's, it's good. 
uh, any discussion? I have a quick question. Wasn't public comment up towards the front? Yeah, um, a few meetings back, it was discussed to move the public comment. Back to where it was before? Well, it used to be the last thing on the agenda. Um, the idea was that they want people want to comment on any city business before. Um, to the that? first, to the middle. Yeah, to the kind of the middle. I think it makes sense. Okay. I just noticed it. But... Like it there? But... No, I don't. It's all good. I don't really think that we have a public comment section. I think we just kind of have conversations with everybody anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's <laughs> not that regulated. <laughs> no, I just sort of try to keep it in track. We, we do. We do but... All right, any other discussion on the agenda approval? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Minutes approval. Make motion for the city council meeting minutes for March 27th, 2024. I'll second. Second, Mr. Ferguson. Any discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Voucher approval. Make a motion that we approve the amended end of March voucher of $21,400.53, the 1st of April, 2024, $30,925.50. Motion by Mr. Parsons to approve the vouchers as stated. Is there a second? I'll second. Second by Mr. Ferguson. Discussion? All right, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Such a long <laughs> Put you over there permanently. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, for March 2024, we had 253 citizen contacts. Calls on shift were two. Traffic stops were 16. Three infractions were written, and no arrests were made. There were a total of two on-call shifts, 14 off shifts, and for a total of 16 calls. Awesome. Thank you. I had gotten uh, some feedback from a resident here in town that, that they've noticed, noticed the Sheriff's Department around a, a lot lately. And so I, that's a, a thank that's you. That's a good thing. To, yeah, that's to great. Whatever thing. you've got going on. Yeah. Around. <laughs> Wish I could work. Yeah. Comments tonight. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> name? My name is Aaron Gabriel. I own the property on uh, Six and Street. It's a, it's got a, it had a, it's grown up and it's, you know, it needs repair. Okay, Six and D had the car in front. Yeah, so that car, I just want to let you know if you guys know the name of the car. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. And uh, in the next two or three years, I'm actually going to develop the property. Super. So with that. Um, I need to secure my garage door. So would it be okay if I put plywood or something on to keep that door from coming open? That's why the cars are actually probably talk to talk to Darren about that um, whether tonight or or next week. Okay, yeah, oh, I have a shed that needs taken down. So uh, I work six days a week, going out the day. Um, but on Saturdays I can probably come in and every Saturday I come in. Okay. Well, that's great. Yeah, I mean, I've wondered, you know, extensively, you know, when the house get fixed up because it's sort of All right, that's great. Yeah, anything like that? Um, talk to uh, talk to Darren. He's in charge of the code enforcement stuff. And he could make sure that everything's on board. But yeah, we love hearing that people are going to fix up their properties since there's a plan. So, this is actually my home. Um, I grew up back in life, and so now I'm happy. I've been sober for five years now. So, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so, 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 so you live right next door? Uh, no, I live uh, between Appleby and Jane. 
Okay, so you're not in town quite yet. I'm not in jail right now, but I'm doing another work and save up some money and get my credit back up and then I'll move into this particular. Great, and you, is your intent to move into it? Yes. All right, great. That'll be great. It's right next to Janet, right? Yeah. All right, we look forward to that. <laughs> Any other public comment? Yeah, I would, uh, this is Bob Goff. I would like to uh, ask why Broadwood membership is this on the agenda moving forward with getting our water system back? Thanks. Yeah, so I'm trying to work on the water system as as time allows, and so we had some pretty good progress um, getting these upgrades uh, work with the county. So, um, but yeah, it's it hasn't been forgotten about. We keep moving forward on it. Okay, uh, item number one: City Council to consider cloud permit the proposed contract for three years. Um, there is a cost sixty five hundred for the first year. Um, that includes there's fifteen hundred dollars of setup fees in that, and then five thousand dollars for the net, each for the next two years. So what cloud permit is, and we've gotten we've gotten some um, prices from from another place too, and it's very expensive. Um, this place is quite affordable. Um, what cloud permit does is it it'll do two things. Any of our building and uh, permitting needs will be in this software. Also, it has code enforcement as well. So it's a full um, tracking system for all your building and planning needs. Um, it'll also allow folks to log in to create accounts and log in and submit all their plans remotely. So online, so it gives people online access. Um, that uh, Kalama uses um, and a variety of other cities. Um, our, um, our building officials already are familiar with it um, as uh, Towns and Associates is Kalama's uh, building department, building official as well. So they already know how to use it and they have good things to say about it. Um, I think, uh, are you, is it one, Mr. Ferguson, that you've used for your business? No, I have experience with uh... A cella through Callas County's building and planning, and um, it's Brandon like these quirky little hangups where um, you go. A blank screen where you should be able to like access your documents or pictures that they've you know sent back, like when they stamped my after they stamped your blueprints that you submitted and approved them. I couldn't actually access them, so, um, and then using it, and then I came home and I tried to do it from my home PC, which is a newer, you know, MacBook, and uh, I couldn't see it to pay. That was that was the, that was the other company. That was a different one. So I really like I I see this on here, and I seen the agenda last night, and I, I spoke with Lisa today. Um, I, I want to look at it. And I want to take sure to book a demo on it. Really slick. Like it was on in the demo, they they went from they uh, they can set themselves up as a customer, and they went all the way from submitting the permit through and all the way through the application process, and the whole thing is quicker than it actually takes us to like take someone's paper or walk over, scan it in as a PDF, email it to everybody. Right. It's just, it eliminates all the, all the, the. I, I think maybe, maybe, maybe I sounded like I was like saying all the no. negative stuff about it. Yeah, no, we can know, also, but, but that's, you know, it, there is a huge benefit. And anyone can actually like go on there right now. Not having to great, keep all your documents dry account. and, check it out. and intact, you know, on the construction site. When we, when, uh, here's a good example. So when we have these subdivisions come in, there's 10, 15 houses, each one's going to have its own permit and its own set that of documents. Status on the yeah. permit and schedule. so using something like this, um, cool. everyone will have its yeah. own separate account. And so it'll be easy for us, for the developer, um, all the images are in there. And when it's all done, you can hit print and print out a final, a final application um, that we can put in the file. So the short of this is it's going to, it saves, it's going to save the city hall 
tons of time. It's going to screen find things. It's going to give it's going to give the permit the folks applying for the permit um, an, an easier way of going about it. Um, it's that you hit submit until you've actually put all the information in that you need um, versus our paper format that we have. have missed things and we have to give it back and then they give it back to us and so anyway this is um the idea was that one it'll, it'll streamline things and make things easier um and give new functionality to our customers and um part of the inspection fees that we talked about earlier um we're easily saving more than that and so this is not going to be a but affect the budget because of what we're already saving, so. Um, right, and and we, uh, 20, Lisa was telling me, um, 2025, we have, like all cities are required to adopt uh, one, of these, one of these kind of systems. Yeah, the so state is, yeah, the state is um, going, is going to have a new law that says um, people need to be able to apply digitally for permitting, so. Let's go into that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. Well, the reviews say it's not really customer friendly. I went on and read reviews yeah. today. And it said it was kind of complicated. But whether that's true, I don't know. Yeah. There was another one of the companies. There's there's a few of these competitors out there. Um, like I said our our building officials use this one already, and they like it. Um, there was another one I I uh, talked to and I had some discussions with and. The, folk, the, the salesperson says, yeah, yeah, we work with small cities all the time. You know, it's, uh, you know, small cities down to, you know, $25 million worth of uh, budgets and things like that. And it's like, well, we need to kind of, we kind of need to uh, we're, what are we readdress, something that... readdress what you think a small city is, you know, and they didn't even want to talk to us because um, of the costs associated with it. You know, we're in the tens of thousands of dollars a year. Um, Zero. Yes. It also allows us to do the inspections in the field while we're out there. So it's got a system where I can take the iPad out and do the inspection and fill everything in right there at the job. I don't have to write everything down and come back to the office, backflip into the computer. So it gives us that option. So when I'm in the field, I just pull up the job on the tablet, enter everything. Be on the way, uh, puts it into the system. You'd be able to pull up the on a tablet the, and review the plans for yeah. the inspection everything. that was yeah. called in for you to go do everything. Everything, everything I need will be you right. You know what you're going to yeah. go look at when you get there. Yeah, yeah. and you can take it. It all makes sense. And you can, and take, can take pictures. pictures, and pictures. And right. the pictures. When I'm in the field, I can take pictures on the tablet and automatically uploads it to the file. Have you used this one already? Yeah. I have not used this one. Okay. Calamity uses it, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I could get a list of cities, but like you said, we have other local ones that use it. I want to ask that we revisit this the next meeting. Okay. And um, oh, I'd like to have a chance to kind of, there, I just seen on there that you can schedule a, a cruise through. And oh, yeah, they are very receptive. And, and just as a contractor and somebody that, you know, I'm going to use it. Sure. I, you know, so it's required. For three years. It's a three-year contract. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyone have any other discussion? Would you, anyone else like to watch that that demo? If we can get a demo for Mike. Yes, I'd like to. So, so the subscription total is what, this number a year, the five thousand dollars a year, or is it the sixty-five hundred? So, so it's five thousand dollars a year. The first year, there's a fifteen hundred dollars setup fee. Okay. So it's sixteen five for the three years. At which time they'll, they'll probably be helping us get the software onto our devices because we're going to have to provide the device, right? That's What's kind of how that was what I started reading the contract. There's a lot of pages. Your packets, you have all the it, like yeah, there's like 65 pages. I didn't have a chance to read it last night, but like one of the first things I've seen was that we were responsible for providing the device and maintaining right. it. So. Right, because it's 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 a it's a web based right software so it's like almost using email or whatever else you have 
And so obviously they don't provide us computers. You use your phone, you use your tablet, you use whatever, your desktop PC. And so, yeah, they don't provide us computers. You just log in with whatever you have. Right. So on top of this, we'll, we'll have to consider getting a tablet for... They already have one. We have it. already have one. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there wouldn't... That was with a question mark. That was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we'll get that done. We'll get, get that, that set up and we'll let council know when that's available. Oh, yes. just generally, what's a good time for you, Mike? I'm done at three every day, usually. So not afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Any other discussion tonight? Any other elected official comments on anything? May Day's coming up. We got shirts and buttons. Oh yeah, and they sell them down at the tracks. There's buttons down at the tracks, and at the did you guys have them still at the the crane? I haven't been. I went in the there, tracks today so. for lunch. Sure. I mean, they had the the shirts there. They got youth and all different sizes and buttons. Um, the button. One of the shake kids did like an amazing. The, the button, the, well, the button design, the, yeah, the like part. The design board. is like it, it's pretty awesome. The May, yeah, the May Day committee, unrelated to the city, had a uh, yeah. had a every year they have a button design contest and they had thirty entries and and yeah, my daughter, my daughter won. So. And it was <laughs> and it was uh, yeah, there's you know there's a blind judging, so they didn't yeah, know who nobody knew who who did what, what and uh, my daughter, my daughter won so. So that's uh, that's her design on the button and the shirt. So cute. Pretty pretty fun. She's pretty excited about it. How old is she? She's just sixteen. Mm. Yeah. All right. So if there's nothing else, it was adjourned at forty-one p.m. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you.